other sentient beings if we don't need to. And we shouldn't cause suffering if we don't need to. Non-human animals have desires, feelings, and the right to live free from oppression. People need to know that animals are here with us and not for us. Animal rights is part of the struggle for justice. Because if we oppose violence, we should oppose it no matter who it's happening to. My rescue traumatized meat rabbit opened my eyes to seeing animals differently. I've personally investigated factory farms. I can tell you without doubt that animals are routinely confined in cages so small they can't spread their limbs or even turn around. I can tell you animals have their bodies mutilated and their lives robbed. First and foremost, animal exploitation benefits animal industries who line their pockets from their suffering. Animals are exploited, tortured, and killed on a massive scale because this violence is normalized. It's socially acceptable and therefore invisible. I cannot accept that it's a crime to try and end the practice of force-feeding animals until their bodies nearly and sometimes actually do explode. And I cannot accept the AETA. Exposing animal abuse is not terrorism. The AETA makes exposing cruelty to animals a worse crime than committing animal cruelty. With the Animal Enterprise Terrorism Act, the government is trying to muzzle an entire movement. Today, I am speaking out. Today, I am speaking out. Today, I am speaking out.